Daddy, wake up. You're really late for school. My school. Everybody's at over and no more school. Eddie, come on, wake up. You're going to be late for work, Eddie. What time is it? It's 8 o'clock. Yeah, just tell me what is it. No, she didn't. Come on, wake up. Jay, Sabo! Hi. Uncle Kwang san, here's a list of suppliers you wanted. Oh. I just sent the email to you yesterday, and it's done. Good. Uncle Kong san whatever help you need, I'll be more than happy to help you. Hmm. Ah, hmm. Okay. Chris, I'm still waiting for that product report from you. It was due yesterday. Uh, sorry, I was busy. Yeah. Busy with that list for Uncle Kong San. I want that report by today, 6 p.m. Sharp. Sure, I'll get to it. You want a permanent position? You better buck up and stop skiving. Suzanne and Felicia are not going to bail you up forever. Che. I mean, Mr. Lim. I've always been serious about my work. I didn't get the impression. Not when you screwed up the Wakatong goodie bags. Not when you tried to fake sick leave a couple of times. Want me to go on? I didn't think so. Eddie Tong! Uh, good morning, Mrs. Vera. It's Jake. Late again. Old habits die hard, huh? Eddie, you're taking over Mr. Siva's class and you're part of the teaching staff now. You cannot be late. In fact, you've got to be here much earlier than your students. Uh. Hey, Eddie! Thanks for saying that's a change this morning. You had a meeting this morning? Before assembly, Mr. Sparera, Eddie even gave us some tips on how to get the best start off the block. Yeah, and I'm so psyched up now and ready to get Pungo JC's bike in the fourth and hundred course. Uh, uh, always good to see students so motivated. Alright, Mrs. Vera. Let's hit the track, shall we? Okay. Uh, okay. Let's go. I don't remember seeing him before the assembly. Hmm. Is that all you're bringing? I'm going for reserve, it's not backpacking in Europe. Okay. I hope you remember to pack all your underwears. There's no Jordan in the jungles of Thailand. So, excited for reserve? I think it's a good break for me, for Ma and Pa. More like it's a good break for them, from you. Huh? You, you. <laughs> I'm going to my room. And I'm going to meet a friend. It's all your fault. Are you really going ahead with Jing Kai's plans to change supplier? Just exploring all our options. Uncle Chandra has been with us since day one. We have a good working relationship for almost 20 years. I know. Why are you so worked up? Nothing's confirmed yet. <laughs> Latika! I got it, I got it! Judy, you got what? I got a job I wanted, the personal shopper. Someone's going to pay you to shop? I get to do makeovers. You know, I love making people look better. And I always feel so sorry for those with bad fashion sense. So poor thing. Does Sir and Ma'am know about your new job? Not yet. I'll surprise them later. And finally, I can get Anya off my back about looking for a job. <laughs> Congratulations, Judy. Guys, what you want? You helped us come up excuses keep trading before. You helped me and I helped you. And together, we made this world a better place. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Aren't you supposed to be at training? 
Oh, we, 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 we were just discussing another training plan. Eddie, may I speak to you, please? Teacher now will not their buddy anymore. You've got to set some ground rules. Otherwise, you're going to make your life very difficult for yourself. That was Vijesh. Um, Sheila and Chunkai are at the factory. Again? They're checking out the workflow and ingredients. They are very persistent about changing suppliers. I know it surprised me too. I never thought Chunghai would be so serious about the business. Well, with her connections and contacts, this Sheila and Chunghai make quite a formidable team. When Peter T comes back... He... Oh, that's a different set of challenge. Well, at least Chunghai, there's no chance of him marrying Peter T. Okay, everybody, stand up, stand up! Get around! Hey, Eddie, are we going through another one of your training plans again? Mr. Tong, I like to be called Mr. Tong from now on. Mr. Tong? See the GoPro at the back? Run and touch it. Give your 15 seconds. The slowest will do 15 push ups. Seriously? Go! 15! 14! That's it! Hurry up! Arms, they are very weak. I'm a runner. I use my legs. Set up, set up, set up. Get her. You see the canteen over there? Go take a 15 minute break. No, wait. Make it 30. <laughs> gotcha. Mr. Tong, what's going on? Look at all your kanchong faces. They're priceless, man. <laughs> so, Kenti? Thank you, Mr. Tong. Eh. Call me, Eddie. Call me, Eddie. Go, 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 go. So, how much is your mom investing? <clears throat> Forget it, man. She asked me to stick to my day job. What? So you're back to square one? Yeah. Looks like it. <sighs> Sucks, man. Look, we can try to figure out a way to, you know, come up with the money. Get it? It's just on my day. Hey, where are you going? Back to my day job. What else? Look, we'll, we'll talk when I come back from Thailand. Wow. Looks good. Smells good too. These are for our Valentine's Day Singles Night event tomorrow. You know what? Have one. Nice one for you. I don't think you get this in your reservist camp tomorrow. <laughs> yep. I wouldn't. Really? Yeah, go for it. Let me know how it tastes. Okay. Oh my. Is it me? Or the food and service here just got better without Jay around? <laughs> Mira, it's a prestigious boutique. The answer is no. She is not going to work as a sales girl. It's a personal shopper. It's a prestigious job. It requires great taste and great responsibility. I advise people on how to look their best. Shruti, 
personal shopper is just a fancy name for a sales girl. I shop, I know. Now, Shruti, which part of no did you not understand? Mira, we can discuss about this calmly. There's nothing to discuss. The answer is no. Diana, can I have a word? Mm -hmm. Look, I, uh, I'm really sorry about what I said about Jay just now. I. You're right. TCH is better off without him. You, <clears throat> you okay? Why is everyone asking me if I'm okay? Uh, Chris. Chris told me about Sheila, Jay's girlfriend. He said they were. <clears throat> they were here yesterday. Chris and his big mouth. <laughs> yeah. You, you want me to beat him up for you? <laughs> I can beat him up myself, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're right. You. You'll probably be better than me. You said it, man. Uh, but seriously, I'm really sorry about what happened to you. Why are you sorry? I'm always the one making the wrong choices when it comes to men. Uh, wrong choices? What, what, what do you mean by wrong choices? <laughs> yes, Dr. Krishna, I'm... Yes, I'm on my way to camp now. Yes, yeah, I, I guess I could swing by the hospital. Yeah, uh, I'll be on my way then. Okay. Good luck for your reservist. Thanks. Oh, and uh... Happy Valentine's Day. In advance. Eddie Tong, where are your students? Uh, EJ, uh, they, they are on break. It's almost an hour already. They're still on break? Uh, I'll, I'll text them. <laughs> they are on the way back. the back cup again. Hmm? Mira, it's just a part-time job. Don't make a big hoo out of it. I am the bad cop. I'm not saying you're wrong, Mira. Of all the jobs in the world, she chooses to be a sales girl. Mira, that is a respectable job. So is being an aesthetic doctor. But you have a problem with Arjun doing that. Mira, what are you talking about? This is completely different. Oscar, you're so biased. Shruti can do whatever she wants, but Arjun can't. I... Like I said, it's just a temp job. This will give her a good chance to find out what it's really like in the working world. It will do her some good. You know what? I don't want to argue with you over this. Mira? Ah, I've tweaked the proposal. We'll ask Mr. Chandra to reduce his prices by 20%. And if he says no, this will give us a valid excuse to switch suppliers. This will make sure Mr. Chandra keeps his prices competitive. Competition is not a bad thing. I have a feeling Mr. Chandra is taking care of foods for granted. Back in the US, we're always chopping and changing our suppliers. Keeps them competitive. Yes, relationships are important, but so is our bottom line. Yeah, very true. You both make a very good point. Ah. We are risking our reputation. I'm confident in Jing Kai that he will do it properly so that Chandra doesn't lose face. Of course, Pa. Leave everything to me. Hey, guys, guys, guys! What happened to them? It's after lunch. They're probably still in a food coma. Eddie, can we call it a day? Yeah, we're all tired. 
And my arms are still sore from the push-ups. Even after the massage. Guys, wake up, wake up. Stay around the training. Guys. Hey, buddy. Don't pretend. We all know the real you. And you're not even a real teacher. So, just chill. Hey, I also know the real you. And all your secrets. about me and see Raj, Ben will take us back. I swear, I'll kill whoever who told him that I'm doing GP results for cash. Hey guys, did I say stop? Eddie, can we take five please? Sure. You want me to tell Ude that? Then never mind. Forget about it. Forget about it. Go, 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 go. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Very good, very good. Good pace. That's right. Not bad, huh? Manage to get them to listen to you. It's very easy, Jay. You just need to know how to talk to them. You need new clothes, more pocket money, I'll give it to you. You don't need a job. Ma, it's not about that. Then why do you need to work as a boutique sales girl? I already told you, it's called a personal shopper. It's still a job serving customers. Shruti, don't be stubborn. I can call them for you and refuse a job if you are uncomfortable doing it. Ma, can you please try and understand? I can work in fashion. It's my dream job. I've waited a very long time for this opportunity and I'm not giving this up. Okay? Fine. Do whatever you want. I wash my hands off this matter. But don't come crying back to me if you can't hack it. Hey guys, guys, uh, that was a great workout today, man. See you all tomorrow. See you. See you. Bye bye. Hey guys, hey, Mr. Steva just tested me. He's cutting his leaf short. Why? He didn't say. He only said that he'll be back tomorrow to resume our training. Nice. Uh, yeah. Chew? Yeah. <laughs> you mean like chewing gum? You chew one raw slice a day, lowers your blood pressure, lowers your cholesterol, and it boosts your energy. Mm. Thanks for this ginseng. You are very tough. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's my dad, excuse me. Hmm. Your father, huh? whenever he looks like that girl, huh? he's in such a good mood, you know. If only he can talk to me nicely. You think ah, uh, Jing Kai and her will tong 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 or not? What are you asking me yourself? Aya. Wait, how long more you want to wait? She's sharp and smart, well brought up and nice. This type of girl hard to find. We're both still young. We haven't planned so far yet. You won't stay young forever. Don't leave it till too late. Even if you can wait, can she? Don't forget, she's a girl. Food's ready. Sheila, food's ready. You okay? Yeah. I'm just not sure about Sheila. I can't read her. Seems okay to me. Okay. Now that Mrs. Siva is coming back, what's going to happen to me? I've discussed the situation with Mrs. Pereira. And we both decided that there are no classes or subjects you can take. Does that mean... I'm sorry, Editor. Well... Thanks for the opportunity, Jake. It was good while it lasted. That was Mrs. Pereira. Please thank her for me too. 
Hey, Dito, where are you going? Huh? I'm fired, right? You're in luck. Mrs. Pereira just told me that she's been assigned the netball team. So, she's letting you take over her fan club. Mrs. Pereira has a fan club? It's F-A-N, short for Fitness and Nutrition. Wait, uh, isn't that where students who fail the NAFA test go to? So, you still want to take up the offer or not? Uh, oh, of course. <laughs> Better than nothing, right? Uh, so, when do I start? There's a session right now. But then, the students are late, as usual. <laughs> Thanks, Jake. Sorry, Jake. Sorry I'm late. <sighs> you should say sorry to Mr. Tong instead. You are late for his class. He's your new fan club teacher. Make sure they all turn up on time. Hmm? That's yes, Jake. Take the drums from my heart. This is nice, right? Yeah. Oh my god. It's not that bad. And I wonder who I get to style today. Excuse me. What are you wearing? Change in the back. But I'm a personal shopper. Should I put this on? My name is spelled wrongly. Okay, spelled wrongly. My name is Kingsley. You can call me King. But I I've got no time to argue with you, girl. Chop chop. Girl.